In this video, we'll take a look at the convergence um, and uh, we'll examine how to incorporate dividend yield into this expression for the CRR uh, Fabrice Rua uh, VBA code. Uh, so one of the things we might note here, if we increase um, the step size, so we increase to 1,000, uh, using the spreadsheet, so 1,000, uh, we get 1044. You might notice that as we increase the step size, we get closer to the true value uh, obtained here using Black-Scholes uh, formula from carryback.net. Uh, one of the problems with the simple European binomial uh, algorithm or VBA code uh, as currently set up, um, if we increase the step size to 1,100, uh, the estimation crashes out. So that's a problem. Um, a nice feature with the follow the code, Fabrice's code, uh, is that we can increase the step size and we can run the estimation. So for instance, here, if we change this, if we link the step size to the 1000, okay, and run execute, um, it's not as fast, it's a little bit slow. In fact, it's quite slow, but it will run the estimation. So we might, uh, we won't pause uh, for the moment, but we'll pause next time around when we increase maybe the step, step size to uh, 2000. So over here, if we increase the step size to 2000, it crashes out. Uh, it is fast, it has the benefit of being fast, but above uh, 1000 or so, uh, we tend to run the difficulties. Uh, we can increase the VBA, the Fabrice's code, which is static code, and there are problems with static code. I will take a look at them in a moment. Uh, but if we increase this to 2000 steps, then uh, that will take longer. You might check the time, here's 5.02. Let's run this and I'll pause for a moment uh, while the code is executing. Okay, so a minute or so has passed and the estimation has executed. Uh, we've gone up to 2000 steps and you can see we're now closer to 10.45.06, the black Scholes value. And uh, we can try 3,000 steps or maybe 4,000 steps um, with this machine. Will we get closer to 10.45.06? Generally, we will. Uh, so when I run that, uh, it's, I've hit return already. It's now 5.03. Um, okay, I'll pause uh, for one moment. It'll take probably a little bit more than two minutes. So let's just pause while we wait for the execution to finish. Okay, and the estimation is just complete and it's five, uh, six minutes uh, past five. So yes, we're getting closer to true 1045, but it does impose fairly significant computational costs on the computer. And again, part of the issue Part of the problem here is that the code is static. It works, it works fine, but uh, we, in the design of the code, if we go into the Fabrice Rua code, one of the issues here relates to building the tree and we have to store that in static memory and then we invoke that when we come down to estimating the terminal values of the options and then in turn in the tree um, when we are doing perform backward recursion, uh, in each instance, we've got to refer back to each of the nodes in the tree. Uh, with 4,000 steps, uh, you can virtually square the 4,000 and divide by two to give some semblance of the order of magnitude in terms of estimation. Um, so 4,000 steps is, is an enormous number of estimations that we've got to run. Because the, the uh, tree is stored in static memory, that imposes fairly serious uh, burden on the computer. 
when making estimations. Okay, so if we reduce it to 100 steps, no problem, executes very quickly, but if we go beyond uh, 1,000, 2,000 steps, then it's quite slow. Okay, so um, a couple of things then. Uh, let's consider more formally convergence. If we go into, so let's uh, copy the code that we have here. In fact, uh, we can copy all three columns, copy, and then uh, paste again. Okay, so paste. And we'll just verify that the formulas are live, that's fine. Then we can remove perhaps uh, here, at least at the European option. Uh, one of the nice features of this uh, uh, Cox Ross Rubenstein code developed uh, using Fabrice's uh, VBA code is that we can consider American options. But for the moment, we we will just look at European options and consider convergence. And we might look at number of steps, 10, 20, 30. So we will re-estimate uh, the cox ross Rubenstein tree and consider different time steps. And we can say equal to uh, Black-Scholes uh, call. And here, equal to um, the static uh, Cox-Ross-Rubenstein tree, 1043. Um, also, um, we should perhaps um, set this cell equal to this one, and then just pull down. And then let's take uh rerun these estimations again um we'll go to so we, we're going to set up a data table so data what if analysis data data table it's a column of data n and then what in the original parameter input relates to n it's the 100 so let's run that and it's uh, estimated quite quickly um, but um, we can then take the three columns together and um, insert, in fact, we can take the two initially, insert and scatter graph, that should be a straight line. And then we can include in insert, select data, and we'll include add a new variable this time CRR, and then on the x-axis, uh, we should put the number of steps on the y-axis, uh, we'll put uh, the Cox-Ross-Rubenstein estimation from Fabrice Rua. Okay, and uh, we might edit this to be Black-Scholes, just simply BS. Okay, so what we notice is that as we increase the step size, the value of the Cox-Ross-Rubenstein tree converges to Black-Scholes. Now we can, if we make every second step odd, um, we'll get oscillating behavior. So typically there's some oscillation in the estimate, right? Um, so the convergence that we observe is not purely monotonic, it oscillates. So the, this should be 81 and then uh, 101, okay, so you get the idea, 121, the way convergence occurs is a kind of oscillating motion, right? And that's worth uh, pointing out. So we get this type of oscillation. And what we have here then is black shows, which is the straight line, which is true, versus uh, CRR for, different step size uh, and um, the, the logic here is that uh, we've demonstrated uh, over the sequence of steps that we've observed here 
that the, the cox ross rubinstein model converges and the differences become smaller between uh, the CRR model and the uh, black shoals. Okay, in the next video, we'll consider how to integrate in dividend uh, yield.